The thing about bitter compounds is that they tend to be biologically active. They affect our bodies in some way, sometimes in harmful ones, but sometimes in healthy ones. Grapefruit's triterpenes boost our immune response. The phenols in tea can improve heart health, and organosulfides in the brassica gang do, well, all sorts of stuff. Tons of different animals, from caterpillars to chimpanzees, are known to self-medicate with bitter medicinal plants. And it's likely that we humans, too, seek out certain good-for-us bitter compounds. And actually, we seek out the not-good-for-us ones, too. Because even if they're toxic in large doses, small amounts of certain bitter compounds interact with our bodies in ways that feel good. The caffeine in coffee and tea, the nicotine in tobacco, the alcohols in boozy drinks. We seek them out because we like how they make us feel and we get used to their bitterness. And with enough exposure, we might begin to appreciate that bitterness, which might turn us on to other bitter flavors. And voila, a love for bitter stuff is born.